Hello my friends, so I'm having my first week of pantry challenge and the idea is to clear the fridge, cupboards, uh, freezer of food over the coming weeks to do our bit to not be in the shops and just to keep away, isolate as much as we can to keep healthy for as long as we can. Let me flip you around and show you guys what's in our fridge. So pantry challenge starting today, day one, just give you a little bit of an overview of our fridge. I've got my almond milk for a few weeks, I've got sour cream and curry rice and stuff, cream cheese, got some chicken and veggies, veggie, veggie, veggies and eggs. Freezer is jam packed, the whole bottom, whole bottom it should be meat, a couple of creams there, and the essentials for Paul was ice cream. So we are gonna be eating the fridge, freezer, cupboards for the next few, four weeks, hopefully. So day one, this is what I'm cooking. So my partner, um, I'm gonna give him honey mustard chicken tonight. Yeah, I know it's from a jar. I'm not, I'm not a real cook, so whatever. Um, I've got some filleted drumsticks there. I'm gonna do some um, carrots on the side and I'll put some mushrooms in this to make it go a little further. And for me, I'm making a Thai chicken sort of curry soup, I think, I'm using one of these. I've also got this from uh, my freezer, just some stock. I'm gonna dilute them both down a little bit. I've also got some xanthan gum to make it a little thicker. It sounds strange, dilute it down, but thicken it up just to make it more soupy. And I've got a package here of broccoli, which is out of date considerably, but it looks okay. Um, and also some of these green beans, which are circling the drain a little. So I'm going to boil those up now um, and put it all together and see what happens. Now, I found these um, yesterday. I forgot about them and I don't want to waste them. So I'm going to do, I'm going to trim up all the nasties. And then I'm going to probably trim them down to about here, use the middle part, and then repot these. Um, I had them in water for, for overnight. Let's see if I can bring these back to life and keep them growing in my greenhouse. And this is done. Um, because it's such a veg heavy dinner, which is what I was looking for, it is about 11 carbs, but it's only about 300 calories. It's really quite light in calories, but um, got enough left over for tomorrow as well. Hi guys, so now it's Tuesday. Last night's dinner, that um, Thai thing, chicken that I made, was okay. The xanthan gum, oh, sorry, the yeah, xanthan gum, xanthan gum, the thickener, it's a little bit on the edge. I find it's too much, it's a bit slimy, and I think I put a dot too much in. It was all very edible though, and I've got some leftovers for another night this week, so that's good. Um, Tuesday now, so I'm going to show you what I had. So last night I was in bed watching YouTube, as you do, because you know, you do and um i was watching one of my channels and the channel was called highfalutin low carb and it's he posts a video probably about once a month or maybe a bit more often and he just recreates um, recipes he's found online and can maybe compare similar ones and see how they cook so he's on lockdown and he posted a video with a salmon fish cakes and i thought actually i've got a tin of salmon in the cupboard which has been there about four or five months and i've not used it um so i thought i'd make a fish cakes tonight um, he did say that you can use, um, I'll link his channel below in the video. Um, he did say you can use tuna if that's all you've got. He's very keen to emphasise use what you have because that's what he had to do. Um, and his was, I think, with dill and red pepper. Um, and I think cayenne, I think. I can't remember exactly what you use for seasonings, but he said use what you like. So I was thinking about what I've got. Because obviously you want to use what I've got in the cupboard and obviously you're not going to go to the shops to buy anything. And I'm thinking... <laughs> I've got in the cupboard a dubious, so one of the things I really miss is sushi. I love like going to a sushi restaurant. I've got some sushi ginger here. So what I thought I'd do is kind of like chinese Thai style fish cakes with the tin salmon. So and I've got, I think I've got quite a good amount of ingredients. So I'll flip around and show you what I'm gonna be throwing in my fish cakes. So this is the ingredients I've pulled out for my fish cakes. I've got the tin of salmon there going to drain it off take the little bits of bones out that are always running through the middle of them and you need to put in um half a cup of almond flour um, i guess maybe you could use coconut i don't know but i'm going to use the almond you would use an egg for a binder and also a spoonful of mayonnaise and i think the there's an exact science just use your eyeballs i think the idea is obviously to bind it up um, i'm also going to put in some garlic a little onion not all of that um, some cucumber, which, um, so celery I'm going to dice up real small, just give it a bit of tuck texture and crunch. And then for flavour, I'm going to go for um, Chinese five spice. I've got a little bit of teriyaki here. And um, I've, got, I've, I've never cooked, I don't think I've used this so far, a little dot of that. I know it's got quite a strong flavour. And then I'm going to make them into patties and fry them up. So that is my plan. Oh, also the big old bush here. This is my coriander, my um, cilantro. 
So I'm gonna also put some of that in there as well and see how that tastes. Quite a lot of flavour in this one, I think, so I'm looking forward to it. And this is Paul's dinner for tonight. I'm making him a little stir fry, veggie stir fry. I'm probably gonna use half this chicken, so I can use it for something else, the other half um, the rest of the week. A couple extra mushrooms from the stash. This is from one of my, in the back of the cupboard. Never mind. And we found these, but they're actually surprisingly not too, too stale. So Paul's gonna take one for the team and eat those crackers. So I'm gonna get on, make my patties, throw them in a little oil and have them with a little bit of salad. So here are the fish cakes. This one kind of fell apart a bit. I put a little drizzle of teriyaki on it and my sushi, um, uh, pieces of sushi, um, pickle ginger. And it's got my salad there as well. I've got some leftovers, so I've got four more spare. So see how these go. Got my green salad, a little bit more coriander and um, red onion. And I've um, got a little bit of dressing on there as well, some of this Newman stuff. Um, these are a carb and a half each. With the ginger and the salad, I'm probably going to say this is about 10 altogether, 10 net carbs. So pretty good for a full plate. Let's see how they taste. And these fish cakes were really nice. I've got um, another four, two, two lots of two to go into the freezer for another day. So that says, let me show you as well my rough meal plan, what I've been using. I'm finding that I'm changing my mind pretty much every day and trying to do like a couple, two or three days ahead. Today's Tuesday, so we had the stir fry and the salmon patties. Tomorrow's going to be a leftover day. Um, kind of got my partner pinned in for some burgers because he's got two buns left and I don't want to waste anything. And I've got like a chicken thing with cauliflower rice. Then a lime chicken salad and some chicken salad for him, but I'm... Damn cats, man. Um, and maybe that might change seeing what I've got in the cupboard. So that's how I'm kind of just planning a few days ahead just to use up my fresh stuff that so I do not want to waste anything at all. And I'm finding this is quite helpful just to write it all down as I'm going. Hello my friends, it is Wednesday. I'm still not feeling brilliant from the weekend, I have to say. So I am very, very grateful that I've got leftovers tonight. I've got the leftover um, Thai chicken with the broccoli and things with it. Uh, Paul's got the leftover honey mustard chicken and carrots. I'm throwing in some red potatoes in the oven, but that is it. We're keeping it really simple for Wednesday. Hopefully, I'll be feeling a bit better. I'm feeling better than I was, but just still at 100%. I was hoping to be going for a little jiggle around the park um, tonight, but um, I did some exercise this morning, but I'm not quite up for going around the park tonight. So fingers crossed tomorrow, I'll wake up feeling awesome and I'll be able to go for a little run and um, give myself some energy, get back into the swing of things. Woohoo! Well, hello, it's Thursday. Let's see what I will be cooking today as part of my pantry challenge. Now, Paul is, is a good egg and he is going to be having burgers to finish off the last two burger buns and a couple of stray burgers we found in the freezer when I rejigged it all, which is very helpful. I will flip you around and show you what I'll be putting together for dinner today. So I had got this little bit of chicken that I left over from a couple of days ago. Yeah, yesterday, the day before. Um, I don't think it's quite enough. Um, because what I found in the cupboard was this sauce, um, a Cuban chili sofrito sauce. And it's actually on the lower end of the scale. So this whole pouch, uh, well, it's um, 100 grams is half a pouch is 5.5. So what I'm thinking is, I defrosted some chicken at a double bag. I'm gonna use one of these breasts, suck the rest of that, and just cook this up. Um, and put the other one in the fridge for probably tomorrow. And make something else with that or the day after. And then I've got some cauliflower rice I want to cook because this was should have been yesterday, but you know, dates and things. So I'm gonna do some cauliflower rice. This is gonna be three portions for me. I think it's a 300 gram bag if I remember rightly. Yes it is. So I divide it into three and I'm gonna put some got some chives here, I've got some um cilantro, some coriander, garlic powder, I just put that in the microwave to steam it cooked and have it with that. And I obviously have leftovers for tomorrow or for Saturday maybe. So I'm gonna quickly cook this all up and um, just a nice quick easy dinner, another pouch out of the cupboard, which is good and um, not letting things go to waste, which is what another reason I'm doing this. I want to not have any food waste if we can help it. So I'm gonna fire up the George Foreman, get these burgers on and get cooking. And there's tonight's dinner and I've got a portion left over for another night or maybe freeze it. Um, and I think it's worked out about two carbs for the cauliflower rice and what's five and a half for that. So that's a seven and a half carb dinner. I mean, some people do not like using packaged food. That's fine. I'm having a pantry challenge, so I'm getting rid of stuff. 
Um, it was actually dated, um, I think, July 2018. Um, I've tasted it. I've not died, so it's all good. Um, and some people might be concerned about sugar spikes, and you should be. So this may not be for everyone, but once it's gone, it's gone. And that's it. It's done. So I'm going to go and have a... It's like a normal person's dinner. So I'm very happy. I'm going to go and have this. Paul's going to have his burgers. We're going to watch Deadwood because we've never seen it before and it's interesting. <laughs> so, grab some chicken out of the freezer and defrost. You notice yeah. the day. That is actually last year and I forgot all about it. So I'm gonna be brave, gonna put this on the George. Some chili lime fillets and I've also got some salad -y, yeah. remedy -y scraps yeah. in things here. So I'm also gonna have this upper half of rice, a little bit of lettuce and the tomatoes and things. I don't like tomatoes anyway. Oh, I'm not having rice, but I'll have a bit more salad. I'm going to throw some of the George and just have a real it's simple salad. I've got some boiled eggs as well from earlier. So I'll be just sorting this out and throwing it on a plate and see, see what it looks like. And there you go. This is one. This one is mine. And this one's paused with the tomatoes and the rice on there. Nothing really fancy, just a little chicken salad. And it's Saturday and I am making tonight for Paul a pasta bake. I'm not really a pasta person, so this doesn't bother me at all. Just got a sort of a third of a bag of pasta, just some regular jar sauce. Um, and then what I'm gonna do first is gonna boil the pasta. I'm gonna just fry up the onions, peppers, garlic, chicken, mushrooms, and some of these tomatoes um, to start us off. And then once the pasta's cooked, I'm gonna pop it in there. Pretty simple, um, straightforward. I think I might stir this in it just to get rid of it. <laughs> what can it do? And update on last night's chicken that was a year old. Absolutely fine, no problems. We didn't feel ill at all. So that is what um, I'm cooking for Paul. And there's the pasta bake. Not as much cheese as normal because Paul's trying to avoid cheese at the moment because he's got a bit of a, a fat intolerance situation. But I did make him some uh, bake at home rolls and I put some garlic butter on for him. And I just didn't fancy anything in particular. So I just made myself another salad, loads of mayonnaise, turkey cheese and an egg and some shrubbery because I just didn't fancy anything in particular. I just thought this looks okay. And that's for dinner for Saturday. Good evening my friends, it is Sunday, the last day of this week one of Pantry Challenge. It's been really successful, but in the gardens I'm a bit pink, been, been a bit, bit pink, I've got to go pink very quick. Anyway, <laughs> it's end of week one, we're having leftovers tonight because I've been in the garden for like four hours, tidied up. Um, so leftovers from a couple of nights ago, I'll show you that in a sec, uh, for both of us. I'm really happy with week one. Still got plenty of food left in the fridge, more than I thought, I kind of panicked a little. Um, I thought it was all going to be gone, but it's not, which is great. So now I'm thinking about what I'm going to have for week two and beyond. So um, I'll show what we're having for dinner. And um, yeah, that's the end of week one.